Yo, what's up? It's Yo Rumi. So I want to do a video on something that I get quite a few messages about, and that's for people that um, are looking to build share tribe marketplaces or have built a share tribe marketplace, uh, and they want a more kind of customized look and feel to their marketplace. So like a custom kind of homepage, kind of like Studio Time, as you can see right here. So just something that looks a little bit more customized, a little bit more kind of professional, and not like uh, every other kind of share tribe marketplace. Um, which kind of has this like main kind of listings kind of like grid view right here. Uh, everything's kind of in like a list down on these kind of grids. So um, when you build a sh uh, share tribe marketplace, uh, typically it kind of has this kind of layout and then like a little header section like right above this and a main call to action. So that works great for like an initial kind of MVP. But uh, a lot of times you just want to customize that a little bit more just to uh, have a more kind of polished landing page. Um, Kind of like studio time has right here uh, so using share tribe go um, is of course uh, a pretty good kind of solution for building uh, your basic kind of marketplace mvp um, you uh, so for an option to have a home page on that you can uh, purchase share tribes kind of customized uh, landing page that they offer or you can kind of follow this video which is a tutorial on how to build your own a uh, custom landing page uh, using no code, and um, I'm going to show you how. So let's just get right into it. So this is Studio Time, uh, as you can see, www.studiotime.io. Uh, this is built using Share Tribe Flex. But basically, what I wanted to do is allow people to create their own homepage that has a similar look and feel to this for their Share Tribe Go marketplace. So the tool that I actually um, use to do that is called Instapage. So I'll link down below in the description and then also uh, in, uh, I'll include a link to it, which is an affiliate link. So um, of course that kind of helps me if you sign up for the tool to keep making these videos and whatnot since I do the videos for free. But basically Instapage is a kind of visual page builder. Um, so you can create uh, landing pages uh, super easy um, without code using Instapage. So actually, this is a live kind of um, landing page I created. So I'll link this below too, so you can kind of see this in the description. Just kind of click around on it and see it yourself. But basically, I created a template for a landing page that looks very similar to Studio Time, um, as you can see right here. So it has a kind of basic uh, layout, similar layout. So I basically just kind of created that in Insta page. Um, so that way, uh, others can kind of use this template, kind of modify it for their needs, and then kind of make their own kind of custom landing page. But for the sake of this video, um, I'm just going to walk you through uh, Instapage, show you kind of my kind of edit kind of state for that and dashboard, and then how I actually kind of built this. Um, and if you're looking to build your own, of course, you can sign up for Instapage using the link below uh, and kind of create your own custom landing page. So let's just jump right into it. So this is the actual landing page in the edit state in Instapage. So um, if you do sign up for it, then you can uh, click on the link and uh, I actually have the template. So I can send you the template if you want by clicking on that link uh, in below in the description. Um, or you can simply kind of create your own template. So for your own kind of look and feel for your marketplace. But basically the template right here is kind of broken down into different sections or what Instapage kind of calls blocks. So this top block right here is for this uh, kind of top nav area. So it's very straightforward. So this is just uh, the logo over here that I have as a placeholder. It's simply an image that I created using plain text in Snappa. Um, all these different, this top nav is actually just plain text. So if I click on add a headline, you can see it right here. And if I kind of click up, I'll just kind of change the, uh, we'll change it to black so you can see it. We'll change it to about the same kind of size. There you go. And basically what I actually have up here is a uh, font and it's just kind of spaced out. So it's like a plain text kind of element that I added. Then over to the right is actually just a button. Um, so basically all the text on this page, so this is a static page. It's not really integrated into ShareTribe. So all of this text up here for a top nav to achieve the functionality, you simply just link it. So right here, it's just URL linking. So you would actually put in like your marketplace URL um, on ShareTribe for your about page on there. So for instance, if it was like studiotime.io slash about, um, you know, your marketplace.com slash about, um, or if you're using their uh, go for hosted, it would be of course on a subdomain. Um, and you would link it. So that way this would have like a fluid kind of user experience without being quote unquote actually integrated. 
Um, so I'll kind of I'll get into more on what exactly I mean by that later. But we'll just kind of keep going through this custom kind of like page layout um, and how I built it since that's what this video is about. So this once again is the kind of the top um, top navigation. I, you can actually save it to your block, uh, so that way you could insert it anywhere else. Say for instance on another page if you wanted to create like a Y page. Uh, but we'll kind of go down here and just kind of keep going down. So this section right below it, um, as you kind of see on the Studio Time site, I basically just modeled it after the, the layout on Studio Time. So this is plain text right here. Um, this kind of module or kind of block for the header is actually just an image. So I inserted an image and then actually on the top of it, just clicked on insert text. And this is actually like a text overlay. And so then you can arrange it. So for instance, if you want to push it behind, you can see right there. So when I added the text, I just kind of made sure it was pushed forward. So this is like the uh, right here is on the arrange. This kind of button right here is just a call to action button for like a get started for your marketplace. So that's once again using uh, URL linking. So it's fairly straightforward. Um, so this next section is basically what I created, kind of like a different um, different blocks for different. Uh, this could be different categories, but what I wanted to do is put it down here for different locations because primarily marketplaces, the home page kind of helps you easily discover um, the different supply and the different listings. So one one of those common kind of search or uh, discoverability filters is location. The other is typically category. So since uh, location is probably one of the most prominent, so kind of like, you know, if you're looking for something, say for instance, like stuff to rent around you, um, so that'd be like nearby. Uh, these would be the like three primary cities uh, that you're kind of focusing on. So I've kind of included those right here. So the way that I added those is actually just adding images in here. So when I click on it and click edit, you can actually see the background image right here. You could change it, for instance, if I wanted to have an actual uh, image of like LA and kind of have a beach or whatnot, I could just click on change image right here, insert that. Um, the way that this is actually hooked up though, as far as, uh, how this actually works on the static page. So once again, we'll kind of reference the static page right here that you can actually see and click around on. So you can see the hover effect right here. That's actually just URL right here. So if you highlight it, then you could link to an outside URL. So basically what that would do is this would actually pass through to a URL. That's actually a search on your shared try marketplace. So you could go search on your search term marketplace, for instance, type in Los Angeles, grab the URL, that would be the search result for that. And then you would paste it right here and that would be the link for LA. So you'd actually do that for each city. Um, and then for all locations, you would just link to the all. So it's fairly straightforward as far as this kind of section right here, uh, kind of breaking down the different uh, locations for your marketplace. Right here in the like marketplace, how it works. This is fairly straightforward. This is just like the kind of one, two, three, and the general kind of like value proper how it works for your marketplace. Um, here's the kind of get started button. Uh, it's fairly similar, to, not fairly, pretty much is exactly what I have over here on the kind of like custom studio time uh, section for how it works. So uh, what you could do is then you could use this kind of phone mock. Um, you can actually go to like place it and generate this kind of mock with an actual kind of screenshot of your marketplace. Uh, it actually automatically has like a URL generator. Whoops, we'll zoom out. For some reason it zoomed in. Uh, so anyway, so you could go to place it and uh, automatically get that asset and kind of drop it in here. So this is like an image. So you just save it um, as like a PNG image and you could drop it in this kind of block. Now below the uh, how it works, uh, I have another section. So uh, at the top, um, one of the primary kind of sections uh, for discoverability and search that we had was location. So the next would be like the types or like the categories of your supply or your listings. So I just put like um, placeholders right here. So you see like stuff, stuff, stuff. But of course that could be modified for like, uh, for instance, if you had studios and it was like home studios, mid-level studios, top line studios, those are the primary categories of your supplier of your listings. You can include those here. And once again, you could change the images, change the text to be um, reflective of what you're actually uh, going to display here, and then change the URL routing. So we'll reference the live studio time page right here. And of course, we have like studios that are right for you as the kind of text above that. Um, and then these are the different categories, which are home studios, podcast studios, and top line studios. So it's fairly similar to how we kind of break down the categories of listings here.
Now below that, here's a kind of like a cool kind of a uh, designed like little banner kind of section that we have. Um, and basically what this is doing is kind of calling out like the value prop or why people should list list uh, their supply or list their spaces or services on your marketplace. Um, and the kind of intent behind this is that you could click on learn more and that would probably take you to like a designed kind of um, targeted landing page that says like why list your spaces, services or goods kind of on the marketplace. And from there would then be compelling enough for people to click on uh, add, add, basically add a new listing to the marketplace. So that's what this section is for right here. Um, we actually had it on Studio Time, but we kind of removed it uh, just because it's fairly intuitive. We have like the add your studio at the top right. But once again, if you go to like the reference on the live kind of uh, URL for this template that I have, you can kind of see right here um, where it would basically just, if you click on that, it would go to another kind of design page and then it would be uh, basically, hopefully prompt people to add a listing from that. So we'll go back to the edit state. So down here, uh, by the way, any of these sections, if you don't if you don't want to use these for your marketplace, for instance, if this isn't uh, something that is critical to your homepage, this kind of section for the why, you could simply click on delete block right here and that kind of deletes it. So you would have like categories and then right here to this next section, um, you could always kind of like add that back. Uh, we'll just click undo so, you, so it reverts back and you can see it and we'll just keep going through. Um, but yeah, so it's, it's fairly straightforward as you see these different kind of blocks or different sections, you can kind of insert them and you know modify them and customize them as you need for your marketplace. Um, down here is just like a basically a uh, kind of like a bottom section and then like a general kind of call to action to get started, which of course could kind of link to sign up um, for your marketplace from here. And then this kind of footer section uh, pretty much is just a footer that kind of matches the the template kind of look and feel of Share Tribe Go marketplaces. Um, so that's another thing that I do want to mention on this is kind of by using this template. Uh, I actually did uh, match the font type, the kind of size, spacing, padding, um, pretty much everything uh, for the, this homepage that you could use. So that way there is not a disconnect between your homepage and then your kind of shared tribe go marketplace and kind of quote unquote integrating them together. So that way they have like a fluid user experience. So that's fairly straightforward. Uh, once again, you can check out like Studio Time as the, it's kind of custom homepage. It is on Share Tribe Flux, but of course it's kind of like template I created. You could use, uh, once you sign up for Instapage and you have an Instapage account, you could use that kind of template, customize it, modify it for your needs. And then you'd have a kind of a similar kind of look and feel marketplace to Studio Time, um, which of course is like the Airbnb for music studios and the largest in the world of its kind. So we'll go through really quickly. Once again, um, here's the homepage template. I'll link below. Um, I have it on my site right here. So you can simply sign up for Instapage and use it. Uh, something else I do want to mention and cover really quickly is basically mentioning how this actually integrates or works with your Share Tribe Go marketplace. So uh, in short, I've, well, first off, I've actually done a lot of videos on this uh, in the past. So I'll link to those in the descriptions, maybe even have like a pop up on the screen. Um, in, at the point in this video. But basically what you would do is use a top level domain for this. So for instance, you would use uh, www.studiotime.io for your homepage Instapage. Um, then you would let ShareTribe know that you want to change the, uh, the subdomain or the URL for your ShareTribe Go marketplace. So your entire ShareTribe Go marketplace, for instance, could be on app.studiotime.io or listings.studiotime.io. So basically your entire kind of shared tribe go marketplace and all the core functionality um, that's needed for marketplace would be on a subdomain. Now all of your uh, home pages, uh, well, home page, any of the other custom pages uh, that you use Instapage to create could actually be on the top level domain. So www.studiotime.io or www.mymarketplace.io you know, um, or .com. So you could put uh, use Instapage and integrate the, that domain with Instapage. And then of course, all the URLs will link to Shared Tribe kind of Go um, or Shared Tribe's hosted kind of marketplace uh, using their platform. So hopefully that gives you an idea of how you can create a kind of custom uh, landing page for your Shared Tribe marketplace. And this is typically um, used by a lot of different marketplaces that I've worked with and help kind of customize that uh, leverage Share Tribe Go as much as possible. And, you know, one of the big benefits that I've spoken um, 
a lot about in the past in my other videos is that by using Shared Tribe Go, it's you basically can make changes on the fly without using any code. Um, you can also use some kind of like custom JavaScript to kind of customize that a little bit more look and feel. And then, of course, it's minimal time and resources to run it. Um, so it allows you to then focus more on customizing uh, home pages and target landing pages like this using no code tools then kind of using both of those together with ShareTribe to then uh, have a better kind of custom marketplace and you can focus more of your time, energy and resources on marketing your marketplace, you know, onboarding supply, generating demand, generating liquidity and hopefully building revenue and validating your marketplace concept um, and scaling it up. So anyways, hopefully you found this video helpful. Um, if you did, uh, definitely subscribe because it helps me make more videos like this um, and keep, keep doing them. Um, and then I'll put all a uh, link to all the different, uh, different sites and resources and everything that I mentioned in the video description, but comment below if you have any questions, cause I try to do videos based off of what people have questions on, um, and what they want to see next. And, uh, until next video, see ya.